One of the many reasons why I love photography is that you have infinite opportunities to change things up and discover something new every time you shoot. The most obvious way is to change the location that you're shooting. You can also change the type of photography that you're doing, be it portrait shoots, street photography or light painting. And you can also change the way that you edit the photos themselves, even if the location and the type of photos are the same. And that's what we're going to be doing today. By simply changing the color grade on your images, you can completely change the mood of your image or the story that they tell sometimes. And just by doing that, it almost feels like you're discovering something entirely new, even though you're technically doing the same thing, just editing it differently. So today I'll be taking out my Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens with my Sony a6500 and we'll be heading out in central London and we're going to try and get some cinematic nighttime photos. So there's this look on Instagram that I'm a big fan of, this cinematic nighttime photo look. And there's accounts like uh, David Tran or Aaron Saragal who do this really well. And it almost looks like they just took a film camera out at night and got these really nice cinematic looking film shots. But it's not because they used an electronic camera. But because of what they did in Lightroom, the images look completely different to anything that I've ever shot. There's a slightly green tint, the grain and the overall sort of like contrast level that just makes it look like it came straight from a film camera. And that's the vibe that I'm going for today, the cinematic nighttime photo. I'm going to try my best to edit these photos in Lightroom to achieve that cinematic look. If you like the edit and you like the color grade that I put on these images, let me know in the comments below especially if you want to see a sort of behind the scenes editing tutorial. I've never actually done a grading tutorial or Lightroom tutorial on this channel before, but if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. Let me go. Picture here. I like this little falafel stand, the silhouettes. Just gonna wait for these people to pass through. So I'm taking a bunch of night shots, but I've also got the Cinesoft filter on from Tide Optics. The pictures are already going to be a bit softer as a result. And then I'm going to try and basically edit them like nighttime film photos that add a bunch of grain and stuff. And that's the idea. I'm trying to look for frames that you would pick or that you would shoot if you were a nighttime film photographer, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I really like this fiery wall of lights just over there. Do you mind if we stand here and wait for a bus? Yeah. Let's do another one. Nice. Got the person crossing, um, crossing the street as well. I think that's quite a nice silhouette there. Oh wait, they collaborated with that rabbit. That's what Miffy is, isn't it? Uh, let me use my the old phone trick. Cool. Ooh. Wait, this is such a lovely little... Like, look at that. Hey, let me back up a bit more. I'm just gonna wait for someone to walk out. I really want a silhouette. Perfect, all right. I actually got the shot, but um, my GoPro died. I promise you I didn't Photoshop it, but I'll put the picture up on screen. But yeah, we were just bitching about the unreliability of GoPro these days. I feel like it's just not as solid as it used to be. Yeah, you get a scene here of this pub, kind of like that. I quite like the sign of that guy, but I'm too zoomed out to get it. I've got too much anxiety to use the 30 mil for street photography. So I feel like for a lot of pictures that I want to get, I'd be like, maybe this close to a stranger, which is like, that's two meters, man. Like to get, yeah, to get like a half body shot, I need to be two meters away. And that is just a bit too close for my liking. It's, it's both a mental and also just like, I just don't want them to see me and be like, bro, why are you taking the photo of me? So a lot of people like don't, oh, oh, this is nice. But yeah, it's a bit of an un irrational fear because like for all this time that I've done street photography, actually no one's ever confronted me. Oh, I like that light. Oh, I like that. It's quite cool.
I'm gonna grab one in the kitchen. I like his uh, red, the red, um, was, is it a hat? I don't really know. The thing that he has on his head looks really cool. I'm shooting most of my shots at f2 on purpose because at maximum aperture, so for this lens it will be f1.4, the lens isn't actually that sharp, so I'm making sure to go a couple of stops up from its lowest aperture just to make sure that you know, I'm getting a bit of extra sharpness in my shots. Especially at the beginning when I first started out photography, I was always super tempted to just go f1.4 for everything for like no good reason. Unless you're taking portraits, like when you're taking photos of buildings and stuff like this, well, you really don't need a low aperture to be honest. It just helps to brighten things up a bit, but you can also do that through other ways. I do like this. Oh, that is such a nice alleyway. It's always so colorful for no reason. I don't know what they're promoting. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I never know why certain streets are lit up a certain way, but I appreciate that as a photographer. Nice, yeah. Whatever. Nice contrasty picture there. Let's see if I got it. I wish you walked just a little bit closer to the shop, but I feel like that's asking too much and no one's coming now, so never mind. I'm loving all of these like theatre, West End kind of vibes in London. And just one subject under the lights. Just the way we like it. I'm having to change my shutter speed quite a bit because sometimes the lights are like insanely bright and sometimes obviously there's no light. Um, that's one thing that you kind of get used to when doing a lot of nighttime city photography. You would think that you would always be on the same setting because everything's dark, but especially at nighttime, it's super inconsistent, the uh, levels of light that you can find. Let me grab a photo of Pizza Hut actually. Just had a slice, beautiful. Pizza Hut, I don't know if this is a hot take, but for me, Pizza Hut is the best pizza. Like full stop. There's no better pizza in my opinion. And I know this is personal preference, but for me, there's no better pizza than Pizza Hut. Nice. Hey Fat Choi, Happy New Year everyone, for those of you who celebrate Lunar New Year. And in the spirit of that, we have a fat lantern in the middle of Chinatown, which I'm going to snap a photo of. Looks like a massive jellyfish or something. Alright. Alright, look at all these fluorescent lights. What a scene. I'm going to have to increase my shutter speed a bit. Boom. Very simple shot. Doing simple photography today because I'm not good enough with this lens. So one thing I've noticed is I'm really struggling to get shots that I'm happy with, with this focal length. I think I'm still very much used to the 56 mil Sigma lens, which is a 85 equivalent. This would basically be a 45 equivalent. So almost like half the focal length. And I just feel like I'm never close enough to things. Even this photo right here, I'm gonna have to crop in and post that thing and especially trying to grab like action shots of people i'm just never yeah i'm just never close enough and i don't want to be like right up in their face this will be such a nice shot on my other lens on my 56. oh i know what it is i think being a street away from the subject is a bit too far for the 30 mil. Yeah. And because we're obviously in London, there's a lot of streets separating us from our subject, which is why I'm struggling. Well, one of the reasons why I'm struggling today. Ooh, person coming. Oh yes, he exhaled. I got the smoke cloud, I think. Yeah, there we go. Sick. And the lighting is so nice. I'm 
literally just taking photos of shop fronts today. Oh, that's nice actually, I like that. I love the vibe of this phone booth. It's, I don't know why, it just reminds me of something that I'd see in like a cinematic like film shot. And that is exactly what I'm going for. I really like those shops over there. I just wish I was a bit closer. Oh, perfect. See, this is the perfect distance to the shops, but I can't stay here because I'm in the middle of the road. Oh, that's nice. Just loads of colors here. What a pub, eh? Great naming. I mean, if that doesn't grab your attention, I don't know what does. I kind of like the look of this bus stop. Yeah, I like that with a couple standing just underneath. Something like this. Lots of blurry lights in the background. Maybe a silhouette shot here. Ooh, I like this shot. Let me camp here for a sec. I like how the door is open so you can actually peek through and uh, see the staff kind of like talking to each other. Whoa, no greenhouse kind of. It's all right, it's all right, you can't really see. He's standing on you. Bit of a silhouette. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Like this retro photo booth kind of, kind of vibe. I like this guy, he's little shop with a red background. That looks kind of cool. That's a pretty coffee band. I like that. Look, look. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. People keep ordering into my shop. There's one guy at the shop. Just trying to get him. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Happy with that. <laughs>